Grade 11 Functions introduces the mathematical concept of the function by extending students' experiences with linear and quadratic equations. MCR3U will include the following units. Unit 1 – Introduction to Functions In previous math courses, you would have focused intensively on linear and quadratic relations. In this unit, you will discover how to identify the point where a relation becomes considered a function. You will also learn how to represent the function in a variety of ways. Finally, we will explore the properties of some basic functions and explore ways to apply transformations to them. Unit 2 – Algebraic Expressions Sometimes you might look at two equations and think they are completely different from each other. Then after simplifying one of them, you might realize they are actually the same equation and would give you the same solution if you have plugged a certain value in for the variable and solved. In this unit, you will have the chance to demonstrate your understanding of equivalence as you learn how to simplify polynomials, radicals, and rational expressions. Unit 3 – Quadratic Functions When you throw something into the air and it drops to the ground, that projectile motion creates a parabolic shape known as a quadratic relation. In this unit, you will expand your knowledge of the characteristics of quadratic relations from grade 10. By the end of the unit, you will be able to determine the maximum and minimum values of quadratic functions and solve a variety of problems involving quadratic functions. Unit 4 – Exponential Functions You know how they say bad news travels fast? One person tells their friend a secret, then that friend tells some other friends at lunch, and so on and so on until the whole school and their mother knows that Sally dumped Joe at the football game. Well, the way gossip like this spreads is just one example of the many everyday phenomena that can be modeled using exponential functions. In this unit, you will learn how to simplify and evaluate expressions involving exponents, as well as identify the different ways to represent these exponential functions and solve related problems. Unit 5 – Functions and Applications of Trigonometry What do math and music have in common? Well, if you said nothing, you'd be wrong. Trigonometry actually plays a major role in music production. After all, sound waves travel in a periodic pattern, so production software models sound using sine and cosine functions. In this unit, you will develop your understanding of periodic relationships and sinusoidal functions as you learn to make connections between their equations and graphs. We'll also begin solving problems using primary trigonometric ratios, the sine law and the cosine law. Unit 6 Discrete Functions Ever wonder how Google and Alexa know the answer to your everyday question? Or how your GPS calculates your route from A to B in less time than it takes you to type your request in? Well, for all these devices to work, discrete mathematics must come into play. In this unit, you will be introduced to relationships involved in arithmetic and geometric sequences and series as you learn to draw connections between sequences, series, and financial applications. And for very practical future use, we will also learn how to solve problems involving compound interest and ordinary annuities.